Hey, what's up tech fans? World, welcome once again back to Tech of Tomorrow. So you guys all know Intel released new CPUs and that means new motherboards. Today we're gonna check out the Z270 GT6. Now this is from Biostar. A lot of people out there may think that Biostar is some low-end company because back in the day they did a lot of OEM stuff, but they've changed over the years. And the Racing Series motherboards have been pretty popular. So with that said though, let's jump in and let's do the unboxing and first look and see what this motherboard's all about. The top of the box really doesn't say a lot. Just says it's the racing Z270 GT6, but what's really cool is that it says that it's a 240 gigabyte SSD inside the box for free. So that's pretty much it. I'll turn around to the back of the box, just so that you guys see the back of the box. We'll talk about these things we do the unboxing, but for those who really care, there it is. So beyond that, let me pop the cap here. Starting off the top, we're gonna get the user's guide, the user's manual, a lot of stuff, shows you everything that comes inside there and uh, what you can do with it. Although I have to say though that um, I was a little bit uh, not too pleased when I read the manual and I'll get into that as we go along, but let me set that off to the side. Then we have the free 240 gigabyte G300 series SSD, pretty cool stuff. Great for your boot drive, got it plenty of room. The next up, we have four SATA cables, easy stuff there. Driver CD, rear I.O. plate, and then a cable right here. Let's see what this is. Open that up, there's a little thing in here. Okay, RGB LED adapter cable. Okay, so this is for your different lights inside the system. When we're doing the unboxing, we'll talk about some of those features, but you get a few features for doing your lighting in here, especially with the fan. So just set that off the side, and that's what the cable looks like. And so those are the accessories and what comes there. Next up, obviously the motherboard itself. Let me pull that out of the way, get the box out of the way, board back in here. So let's pull the motherboard out. And there we have it dropping to the floor. So actually let's start off a little bit different. Let's start off the rear IO, something we never do. First off, we see a legacy PS2 keyboard port. This is perfect for those people who have old components and they wanna make sure that when they're getting their BIOS, it'll be recognized. Then down below, we see two USB standard ports. These are also just as well to plug in when you're doing your boot sequence. If you try to plug into the USB 3.0 ports, a lot of times your keyboard or your mouse won't be seen. You'll be going, ah, why can't I get in the BIOS? So it's better sometimes just to use some older stuff. Then next to that, we have the DVI connection, display port, USB type C, then we have four USB 3.0 ports, gigabyte LAN, and then all of the audio components you can see are all gold plated on the inside. So that's pretty cool. So that's where we're at. We usually don't start there, but hey, what the heck, let's do something different. Now here's the board. We can see the layout of the board is pretty decent. Lots of room all the way around the CPU socket so that you can put an aftermarket cooler and all that. They use absolutely the most highest components they can, they can use, all of the caps, everything on the motherboard is made of pretty much what they consider to be the best of the best. They don't give any fancy really marketing things other than racing. They don't try to say it's like military or good enough to, you know, to, to wipe out an army, nothing like that. It's just what it is. The GT6 also features the Intel LGA 1151 socket. Plenty of room, like I said, around the socket though for installing those aftermarket coolers, so I don't think there's gonna be too much worry about what you use to cool it. Single eight pin power port on the top, 24 pin over here. There are a total of five fan headers on the board, including the one that's for the fans. Now when I say the fans, I mean the fan colors. So on top, we have two fan headers up here. These are both considered for the CPU. And then we have the other three, which are here, 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 located in the bottom. And then right over here as well, we have another port for actually connecting up lights. So when you use this port, not for lights, but for coloring the lights, when you use this particular port on the motherboard, and you hook a cable to it up, it, it allows you to control all of the colors and everything on your motherboard for creative design and stuff. So people out there who like doing systems with color stuff, they're gonna like that because you don't have to buy that extra controller whatsoever. So that's pretty cool. Also, this piece right here on the motherboard, this was not in the manual whatsoever. And I mean, not in the manual at all. So I was kind of tripping out on that, really didn't have anything about it. But this thing actually lights up in four different color varieties. So you can use different ones. When we actually do the review and the build, we'll actually show all that and you can see all the different colors in it, but it will be pretty cool. The GT6 features four DIMM slots for dual channel DDR4 memory. But what I think is really nice about this motherboard are these really nice controls here. Kind of hard to see, but these are all like touched. Unlike the old days, they had a bunch of pins coming up. 
this is a lot different. You have power and you have different modes. You have eco mode, which basically sets the entire motherboard to run at its power saving modes. And then you have sport mode. And the sport mode allows you to do all the adjustments, do all the overclock and all that stuff. And then right next to that, it's kind of hard to see, it's a little small little button, but this is the LN2 controller. Now, if you engage the LN2 controller, it will set the board automatically to its lowest setting so that you can do all your overclocking to your heart's desire, but not right when the board starts off. So it'll make sure the board just starts right up. I guess there's been some problems in the past with like things being too cold and something with LN2 and it not posting. So this button should eliminate that altogether. Also next to the 24 pin power connector, you have two external SATA ports. And then right over here, you have all your SATA ports for the motherboard. Now you can do all kinds of RAID 0, 1, 5, all of those can be set up through the RAID arrays on the board. Now this little connector right here is something very interesting. Now this is a SAS connector, which is basically a U2 controller for external devices. And this is three times the speed of USB 3.0, so it's 32 gigabits per second. So that's pretty damn amazing. Now I flip the board around again, we're gonna see if a COM port, I don't really think anybody's gonna really use that. You have a few of those on there. I don't know, maybe somebody out there who's using, you know, their computer for running machinery and stuff would use those, but for gaming, I've never used one. I would, I'm, you know, expect a motherboard that says racing, it's for gaming. Now, you have two BIOS chips down here. They're both removable. You have a switch to switch between the two of them. And the good thing with this is if you blow one of the BIOSes out, you can switch it to the other and then boom, you're back up and going. Right next to that right here, we have the LED indicator. If there's any type of problem with your board starting up, it's gonna give you a code and you're gonna be like, holy crap, what's going on? But at least it'll tell you what's going on. As far as PCI slots go, you get one, two, three, PCI by 16, and then one, two, three, four of just the PCI single slots. Now the single slots were really geared for like putting modems and stuff like that in, but I've noticed a lot of people just put their cards in the big slots and just roll with it. On both sides of the motherboards, we all see the racing logo right by the SATA, we see the racing logo, and then once again, over here by the audio, we see the racing. And then here are the audio components right here. Now these aren't the absolute best film caps I've ever seen, but they're still pretty decent. And to talk just a little bit more about the audio, the audio on board features complete 7.1 surround sound technology. So if you got the speakers, you can listen to it. Earlier we pointed out to you guys a little SAS controller over here, which is basically M2 technology for external. But on this board, the M2 connection is located right here and it actually has some type of advanced cooling in it, which keeps your M2 running cool. Now, at 32 gigabits a second, this is the absolute fastest way you can get your boot time. So if at all possible, putting an M2 in your device and using it as the boot drive would be my most recommended way of doing so, because let's just face it, it's faster than hell when you use that connection. And one thing really interesting, how many motherboards have you seen that actually have Intel LAN surge protection? That's right, on this motherboard right behind the LAN socket is a surge protection. I never knew there was that much juice coming to the LAN port to pop my board, but hey, uh, maybe I was wrong. But anyways, folks, all right, that is it. Biostar Racing GT6. I would have thought though being called Racing Motherboard, it might've had some stripes or something more racing about it. I mean, when I look at this, I guess this thing up here is kind of racing other than it says racing. I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below, always. So down below that like button, I'll have a link to this motherboard plus more information if you want more about it. We'll be doing a build soon so you guys can see how the motherboard performs, how it looks, all that good stuff. So I'm Elric, you've been watching Tekken tomorrow. Thanks for watching. This was the BIOS Star Z270 GT6 Racing.